Okay, so yesterday we got through the undefined terms of geometry, the point, the line, and the plane, how to name them, how to talk about it, what it looks like. Then we uh, went on to talk about the line segment, the ray, the angle, what it means to be collinear and non-collinear, and coplanar and non-coplanar. We covered that yesterday. Okay, so today we're going to talk about what intersection is, and then we're going to do a few examples, and then we can, I'll go ahead and give you your assignment. All right, so um, intersection is the set of points that two geometric figures have in common. So basically it's where they touch each other, okay? So like we have two lines here. We have line L and we have line P, okay? They cross each other. When they cross each other, the only place that they touch is at a point right there. So that is the intersection. And we'll call that point Q, okay? So their intersection is point Q. When you have two planes that intersect, okay, you can see I've got plane Q and plane T, all right? Here's another example. We've got two planes that intersect. Their intersection is going to be a line, okay? Now, the planes extend indefinitely, so their intersection extends indefinitely, so their intersection is a line, all right? Look up here. The intersection between these two planes is this line AB. Another type of intersection that you could have, actually two other types, is you could have a line that goes through a plane. Okay? A line that goes through a plane. And their intersection, the only place that they touch would be this point. Okay? You could have a line that lies on the plane. And the intersection between this plane and this line is the whole line itself. Okay? So it's basically where two of the geometric figures um, touch each other. Alright? So, here's the first example here. We have plane Q, and we want another name for line L. What would be another name for line L? What? PS, okay. So PS, and it is a line, so you have to put a little mini line on top of it. Okay, what's another name for it? PQ. Could I do QS? Yes. Could I switch the letters? Yes. Okay, so lots of different options there for you. Okay, what is another name for plain Q? How can you, how else do you remember that we can name a plane? You use what? B, three points that, that are in the line, right? Three non-collinear points. Remember, non-collinear means they're not in the same line. Collinear means they're in the same line. So give me three points that are not on the same line. P, T, and S. Okay, that would work. All right. How about Q, R, S? Q, R, S, okay, I didn't name this very well, I should not have put this letter here to be Q because it's plain Q, but this is a, a capital person Q, this is just a capital Q, so that's just a capital Q is the point, the cursive one is the plane. Okay, so any non-collinear points I can use to name this plane, okay, give me three um, collinear points, Q, S. Okay, or I have another option. Q R. Another option. Okay. Uh, where do line L and line N intersect? Point Q. Not the person, right? Just the capital one. Okay, here's another picture. Answer the following according to the figure at the right. Okay, so we have this picture here, all right? A couple things that I want to tell you about it. I have a plane sitting on, I mean, uh, a prism sitting on a plane, okay, like this. The bottom of this prism and this plane are one plane, okay? The other thing I have is I have this line at E going through the plane, okay? And the reason that I know that is because of this dotted line. We use a dotted line 
when it cannot be seen from the perspective of the viewer. So it's like behind it, okay? If it was solid, that means it would be lying on it, okay? But if it's dotted, that means it's behind it, okay? All right, so let's answer these questions. How many planes appear in this figure? Okay, there's six. And remember, this one here on the bottom is the same as plane P, and you've got the top, you've got the front, the back, and the two sides, okay? So that's six planes that appear in this figure. Name three points that are collinear. F, E, and H. Okay, good. All right. Is there another set? E, A, D, A, D, J, I would work. Yes. You could draw a line between D and A, but I don't think that you would hit another point. So that would be three, um, three collinear points. Okay. Here is another question. Okay. Um, our points G, A, B, and L coplane. G, A, B, and L. Are those coplanar? How come? L is on a different plane than G, A, B, isn't it? Okay. So the answer would be no. L is... Different plane. Or could you say G is on a different plane than BAL? You could say that too, right? Because what's happening is you've got three down here at the bottom, and then you have another one up here. Okay. All right. Where do line EF and plane P intersect? Point E. That is correct. Okay. 